Is this another one of Eifried's arcs? What's it doing on Olympias? There are words appearing on it. My name is Eifried. I am an explorer seeking a foreign world known as Riza Maxia. When I depart for it, I will gather the treasures I've collected in my adventures on Olympias and place them in arcs near my hometown as a gift to the next generation of adventurers. Huh. So Eifried was an Olympian. He must have found some way to cross the schism to Riza Maxia. And then he never made it back to Olympias. <laughs> never figured there'd be someone else besides you guys crazy enough to go running off to other worlds. <laughs> well, let's pay our respects to our predecessor and help ourselves to his loot. I think that worked out really well. We'll call ourselves the Beauty Link. Beauty? Oh, this is so embarrassing. You're more like the Beast. I appreciate the support. You can count on us! Anytime! We have no limit. Where is everyone? Casing. This looks like a storage space for Spyrexes, but the contents are destroyed. Did Gaius do this? Whoever it was leveled the larger facilities and warehouses, but left the other buildings intact. In other words, their goal is not an invasion or to wipe out the military. Mila, we should hurry and look for Balin. Right. Are you okay? Thank you. I think I'll be okay now. This place seems deserted. Do you know where everyone went? Some people got out early. I don't know about the rest. It was pretty chaotic. Did you see the attackers? The soldiers hit us like a wave. They were led by some guy with a giant sword and a flying woman. Well, that settles it. That it does. They told us they'd destroy every last Spyrex, then they ordered us to retreat. Sounds like something he'd say. Wait, he can't be. Gaius must be planning to eliminate every Spyrex in the entire world. Just to stop the Otherworld reactor plan? Isn't that a bit extreme? No, it's a sound plan. Olympias' situation won't change as long as it has access to Spyrex. Even if the current plan is halted, someone else will eventually come up with something similar. By eliminating Spyrex, Gaius is going right to the heart of the two-world problem. Sounds like a lot of work. But if Gaius is anything, he's determined. Damn it. That puts Balin in danger. Excuse me, do you know anything about someone named Balin? He's a Spyrex engineer. You might find him over in the Spyrite Research Wing. What? Officially, it's called the Military Research Wing, but I wouldn't get your hopes up. Those freaks are probably still wreaking havoc over there. <sighs> I'm sure he's okay. Don't worry about me. You just worry about Gaius. Yeah, but still... You already have enough on your plate. Your job is to keep moving forward, remember? R right We don't have time to worry right now. The sappy stuff will have to wait. All right, thanks. So where's this military research wing anyway? Just ahead. If it's still standing. Be careful. 
You too. You sure you're gonna be okay? Save it, I'm fine. We'll never find Balin or Gaius at this rate. Let's look somewhere else. Hold on. What is it? This confirms it. They created a spyrite with the information Exodus gave them. Something called Volt. Interesting. So Gilland really was trying to save Olympias with spyrites. What? According to this, that spyrite thing was powered about a half an hour ago. That sounds like it was one of the reasons for the chaos that transpired here. Where'd it go? I don't know exactly, but it looks like it climbed to one of the floors above us. What do you think? It might be worth checking out. Why do you say that? I don't have any proof, but I think Gaius might have activated it. If he did, we should find him nearby. But what would be his motive for using Spyrite? I have the same question. I think it's important we get in contact with him. Jude, it's not that I don't want to meet him. But if Gaius is dead set on destroying all Spyrixes, I doubt he'll listen to anything we have to say. We'll cross that bridge when we get to it. If that's his plan, then I'll just have to stop it. You say that now, but we all know how much you respect him. Just as you respect Mila. Please, Rowan. There's no need for this. You sure you won't back down in front of your hero, kid? Hey! Jude doesn't need a lecture from you! Yeah! Who died and made you head honcho? It's okay. I do respect Gaius, but it doesn't mean I have to follow his path. I can create my own. Otherwise, I'll never make my own decisions. I won't grow up to be who I want to be. Well said. The base's power went out. Let's proceed with caution. That must be Volt. Ah! Anyone else all tingly? It appears to be a spirit that can control lightning. It doesn't seem to be tethered to a human the way Celsius was to Gillen. So you're saying it's out of control? We won't get any answers until we calm it down. So much. Okay, we finally stopped it. Everyone all right? Yes. Somehow... All the electric shocks may have helped my blood circulation. We finally beat some sense into it. Just another easy battle for yours truly. If we've learned anything from Celsius and Volt, it's that Spyrites are tough customers. They're just as strong as the Great Spirits. <laughs> We were wondering when you'd show up. Interesting. I never expected to find you here. So you've come to Olympias after all. I'm assuming you're the one that activated Volt. I don't understand your motive, though. Were you testing its potential? Potential? I would never entrust my people's lives to something as tenuous as potential. I attempted to tether with a spyrite precisely because it is something you would consider. What? But it was for naught. Their power is far beyond human control. That leaves us with no choice but to eradicate every last Spyrix from this world. 
So that really is your plan? Don't you realize what would happen? We would end the Otherworld Reactor Plan once and for all. Surely the end justifies my means. What about the schism? We will leave it in place. As long as Spyrixes exist, the threat of Olympias exploiting Riza Maxia remains. And what of Maxwell? Do you plan to leave him where he is? It is the duty of the strong to ensure that the weak do not perish. This isn't right, Gaius! What about it isn't right? We will safeguard the schism until the last Spyrix is destroyed. Then, we shall unite the two worlds. What about all the people who will suffer if you eliminate their Spyrexes? Are you just going to ignore them? Don't worry about the poor suffering humans. Gaius will protect them. Jude, Mila, you of all people should understand the ideals I'm striving for. What's the point of ideals if you force them on others? Don't you see what's happening? Spyrex is a necessity for these people. Take it away and they'll have nothing left. Jude. You talk only of possibilities. I demand certainties. Maybe you're right, but I can't give up. This conversation is pointless. Please, let's be off. Yes, I suppose you're right. What should we do now? In the end, I couldn't. No, there are still things we can do. There has to be. Hmm. Balin? Balin! Huh? Alfred! It appears the elevator stopped working when the power went out. We must find some way to get them out of there. Let's try climbing to the elevator. Wait! We can use Volt! How? Wait, you can't be serious. You're not planning on tethering with it, are you? Is that really wise? Maybe not, but it's worth a shot. Only way to find out is to try. Volt, lend us your power. No way, it worked! It's still stuck. We need more power. Please, just a little more. This must be the same backlash that hit Gilland. Give it up, Jude. Not yet! What are you doing? Why do you insist on doing such reckless things by yourself? <laughs> Look who's talking. Hey, don't leave us behind now! If a task cannot be done alone, then we must simply do it together. Keep trying and something's bound to stick sooner or later. And we want to help, too. Uh-huh. Thanks, everyone. Almost there. Focus. Now! Thanks for the save there. Balin, who are these people? They're patients. Each one of them has a condition that makes it impossible to live a normal life, even with Spyrexes. Wait, does that mean the next generation Spyrexes you've been researching are... Yep. Those little critters they're using are Spyrites. These creatures are Spyrites? They're so cute! But they don't seem any more powerful than lesser spirits. Of course not. They're lesser spirits by rights, after all. Wait a sec. Are you telling me you don't know how spy rights are made? Do us a favor and assume we don't. Well, you should ask one of the other engineers if you want the full spiel. But in simple terms, you've all seen spirit fossils, right? 
If one of you Rhizomaxia folks pours mana into one, voila, a Spyrite is born from it. How strange. I guess there's multiple uses to those fossils, huh? The only catch is you need a booster. What? Wait, did you just say booster? Yep. If someone with a booster pumps mana into a spirit fossil, the calculatrix art inside takes physical form. And that's how you make a spyrite. How are they different from spyrixes? It's a matter of art precision. These spyrites can be as precise as the Asperixis devices from back in the day. I didn't expect to hear that name here. Uh-huh. Too bad Asperixis devices consume spirits. Does that mean spyrites don't kill spirits when they're used? Pretty much. They're fueled by the mana stored inside spirit fossils, after all. One thing I don't understand. These people seem to have no trouble using spyrites. And yet, we struggle to tether with Volt. Spyrites made from great spirits are in a whole different league. The more powerful the base spirit, the lower the chances of a successful tethering. We're still just at a 50% success rate. Hey, but that's more than enough! At that rate, Lesser spirit spyrites might completely replace regular spyrixes someday. Then people won't suffer and spirits won't die either. We did it! Great job, Chipo! Hey, what are pals for? Does this mean that Olympias' environment might recover too? It just might. Thank you, Balin. You have no idea how much this helps us. <laughs> You're welcome, I guess. But we really should be thanking you. You're the ones who saved our research, after all. We did. If you hadn't saved us, all of our Spyrite research would have gone up in smoke. Someday these people will be able to get on with their lives again. Something tells me this Spyrite research is going to become very important. Looks like we found the path we've been seeking. Yeah, although the fight's not over. Balin, could you tell us the exact spot where you found us? Oh, of course. I found you all collapsed at the end of Rusal High Road. You can reach the High Road by following this passageway here. Now Gaius will have to listen to us, right? No. It's too late. I don't know why I know this, but that was our last chance to convince him. Happy? I am, now that we understand the potential of Spyrites. And it's all because Jude wouldn't give up. I'm all like, yeah, take that, world! Jude can really do great things when he tries. I always knew that he could! <laughs> They're just as happy with his success as if it were their own. I completely understand their sentiment, though. Jude had never been the type to lead the way. But this time, he chose a path and followed it through. It's always good to see positive growth. I wonder whose influence that was. One thing's for sure, it certainly wasn't yours. Oh? Haven't you ever heard of reverse psychology? Teaching by bad example? At least your humility makes a fine example. It's good to see everyone upbeat for a change. Yes, 